So I remember a conversation at the start of this piece uh, with Paul uh, before he even went into the field and that was talking about uh, one of the first mass graves that we excavated and it had in it seven, six or seven individuals and at the base were children and we were very worried about losing the remains of those individuals and so we collected all of the base of the grave which was made up of coral much like these pieces here and at night we would lay all the coral out in trays and then with tweezers we would move the coral from one side of the tray to the other and uh, along the way we would find the teeth of the children and that was all that remained of those individuals and I think uh, that conversation then led us to the uh, in part to the idea of matching specific pieces of coral uh, with the teeth of the individuals here and if you look at uh, the piece itself you can actually see that at the base of each of these there's a code and the code is actually a unique identifier for each person. So SK stands for skeleton, and then they're numbered according um, to uh, the order in which they've been discovered uh, over the life of archeological work on Beacon Island. And uh, so the, the matching of the coral and the teeth is part of a relationship that really dates right into the archeological process.